Pre-order XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, coming to consoles and PC August 29th, 2017. Affiliate link below. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And you know, I have spent roughly 13 years in some change of my life working for movie theaters. I love going to see movies in the theaters. I just saw Dark Tower today. I enjoyed it. Yeah, shoot me. Whatever. But when I was a kid, I even loved going. I would get my $5 allowance per week. I'd ride my ass to the theater. I'd get my ticket for a matinee show on a Saturday. I'd get my bag of uh, my, my box of red vines. Uh, both would cost me five bones. I'd sit in the movie theater. I'd enjoy myself. And I'd feel I got my money's worth. I got my time worth. And that has never gone away. One of the reasons why I started this channel is because I just love talking about movies and everything about them. But as I've gotten older, it's been tougher to do. And it's been tougher to go, and a lot of times it has to do with price, actually, uh, and also accessibility, availability, so on and so forth. But there's this, this, this thing that's been around for a while, and I've talked about it, about it before, I think, on my main channel, but MoviePass.com, uh, or just MoviePass. And it's this monthly subscription service that I forgot all about, right? I've known about it, but I forgot about it, where, you know, it's like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, so on and so forth. You get uh, to go see a movie per day, one per day at any theater chain. I think that accepts a debit card, essentially. Uh, and it, now they've dropped the price down to $9.95 a month. And this actually has to do with the fact that the company, uh, a majority stake in the company was purchased by Helios and Matheson Analytics Incorporated. Uh, and the reason why they're, they're changing the price down, they're dropping it five bucks a month, um, is because, well, according to Ted Farnsworth, the chief executive officer, uh, saying that the goal is to reel in a large number of customers in order to collect data on viewing behaviors in order to target advertisements and other marketing materials to subscribers. Uh, saying here, it's no different than Facebook or Google. The more we understand our fans, the more we can target them. And that makes sense considering the fact that the, av that the, that the bulk majority, 75% of all of MoviePass's users are millennials. The younger audience, those who like the, the subscription-based service. Interestingly enough, no one I know uses it. And that's, the thing is, I don't think anyone I know knows about it. That's the other side of this too. But it's so interesting because it's got it's got theaters up in arms about it. Theaters are not happy. In fact, AMC is super pissed about this. Their CEO Mitch Lowe said in an interview to Variety. Uh, he says here, while AMC is not opposed to subscription programs generally, the one envisioned by MoviePass is not one AMC can embrace. We are actively working now to determine whether it may be feasible to opt out and not participate in this shaky and unsustainable program. Um, from what we can tell by definition and absent some other form of other compensation, MoviePass will be losing money on every subscriber seeing two or more movies in a month. And that I understand why it's freaking them out because just logically, just running the general numbers, like this is going to be operating at a loss. But as I pointed out before, what Farnsworth said makes absolute sense. They are going to be operating this at a loss. They bought a, a prime, uh, they bought a stake in this in order to, uh, you know, to, 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 to use it as a way to data mine for advertising. They can learn the viewing habits of their audience. They can better send them advertisements in their email. They can better market to them. This is a long-term play in order to basically get into the mind of the millennial and know how to sell them something. Because when it comes to marketing to millennials, it's a little bit different than the traditional marketing that the baby boomers grew up with. And that really worked on them. We're in this odd paradigm shift. And that's effectively, in my opinion, what's happening with MoviePass. Now, at the same time, now, CEO Mitch Lowe should really kind of pump the brakes and calm his tits here. And the reason why I say this is because right now, just, just this year alone, AMC stocks have plummeted after the very, very, very low turnout for movie theaters uh, over the summer. All right. They've, 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 they've just had a bad run. Movies have not earned as much. But they're not losing any money. AMC, Regal, Cinemark, Century, whatever, man. They're not losing any money off of this deal. Right. I can understand why they're like ooh, a little apprehensive because they feel like it might become too unsustainable, too shaky, and then have so many customers that if it if the bubble bursts, then they're just not going to go to the movies. Well, that's also kind of a load of crap, in my opinion, because people will always justify entertainment. They will always justify it. I justified paying the money to go see Dark Tower. While I said I enjoyed myself, I still had to justify it by a Tuesday early showing when it was only 550 
because it was cheaper. Now, if I was paying nine ninety five a month and I went to go see one or two movies a month, uh, you know, yeah, I can see them losing some money. But let's also be realistic here. How many times a month are people actually going to go to the movies during the summer season, during the holiday season? Yeah, and it's going to increase a little bit. But all those other people that are going to be laying dormant with that nine ninety five a month subscription is going to be basically putting money back in the hands of the company. This market or this this business model, and I'm surprised no one's called it out yet, is running basically like insurance. And no, it is. You're paying for other people to get their insurance, just like they're paying for you when you need it. It's the same concept, albeit rudimentary, but still very similar to the same concept. So when you look at it as a whole, MoviePass is actually something that I would argue should be very much looked at uh, and embraced by the theaters. They need it. They need to bring people in. Their their entire goal here has been to, you know, fix up the theaters, add recliner seats, reserve seating for every showing, and it gets annoying after a while. It really does. It gets annoying because you don't always want to do that. I hate I don't I don't I don't I don't go anymore on a whim because none of the theaters near me allow me to just go. They're all reserved seating. So I have to plan it in advance. And there's times I just don't want to do that. I work from home. I work weird hours. You know, I mean I have the opportunity to go, but I'm 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 juggling. And and sometimes I just want to get up and go and I don't want to be stuck sitting in the damn back or sitting all the way in the front. I want to get there early, get the seats I want, and not have to freaking fight over it. And so that's another problem that's facing theaters as well. But Movie Pass could change a little bit of that. And besides, if you have a couple, if you have a, if you have a family of four that will be like they'll they'll buy four tickets, they'll they'll buy the four the four passes, uh, you know, for per 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 person in the family every single month, then they're not going to go every single day. They're not going to go all the time, but they want it for when they do want to go. They want it for when they feel they have the time to go. And that might be something that uh, they'll they'll keep around. So the money here could actually be sustainable. It could actually be uh, uh, very much like Netflix or Hulu or Amazon, so on and so forth. And if the marketing is done correctly and the analytics are brought back in from this company and they're able to use that as a way to sell off data and advertising to other companies, they, they'd make a mint in the process. So it's really about having faith in something like this. And let's be fair, Hollywood has kind of been going this way in, for a while. I'm honestly surprised that Netflix hasn't necessarily jumped in on this. But at the same time, the, the, the I guess the former CEO or one of the founders of the company was one of the former uh, heads of Netflix. So that does effectively make sense. Uh, at this point now, the question goes back to you. Is this something you're interested in? Is this something you want to check out? Right, would you actually want to go and get a service like this? Do you feel it's worth your money? Uh, these are things I'm curious about. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. My name is, of course, Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day. Peace out.